If I asked you to associate someone with home computers, you'd probably say Steve Jobs. Software? Bill Gates. Television? Obviously Philo Farnsworth. Phones? Well, probably Steve Jobs again. But if you had to do the same with 3D printing, you probably couldn't come up with anyone. To be fair, most people don't interact with 3D printers in their everyday lives. But for a field with applications spanning from hobbyists to rocket science, it gets surprisingly little attention. In the mid-80s, while using UV light to apply special coatings to furniture, Chuck Hull came up with the idea of using photopolymers to rapidly fabricate prototypes one layer at a time. He coined the term stereolithography in his patent for the first ever 3D printer in 1986. Every 3D print starts out as a 3D model, which is exported as an STL file, then sliced in programs like Cura or Simplify 3D. Next, these programs write the toolpaths into a G-code, which the printer follows to print the part. How exactly it prints the part depends on the type of printer. Chuck's device uses a UV laser to draw a cross-section of the part into a vat of photopolymer. By drawing each cross-section of the part on top of the last, you end up with a completed part. This type of 3D printing is called SLA printing. A more recent configuration shines the laser through a pane of glass at the bottom of the vat of resin, pulling the part up as it prints. FDM, or Fused Deposition Modeling, is much more common among hobbyists. FDM printers extrude a thermoplastic filament through a nozzle to create the model. SLA printers can give high surface resolution, stronger prints, and the more modern models are capable of very fast print speeds. That being said, the cost of both the machine and the resin is quite high, and the resin itself can be toxic. At the expense of surface resolution and the end strength of the part, FDM printing is a much cheaper option. The printing material is safe to handle and is much cheaper. This is why FDM printers are so popular with hobbyists. 3D printing is not just limited to plastics. SLS, or selective laser sintering, works much like an SLA printer. It uses a high power laser to fuse metal powder into a functional part. Most forms of manufacturing work by cutting or deforming a stock material into a desired shape. 3D printing, being a form of additive manufacturing, can reduce waste and the tool wear is limited to the print bed and in the case of FDM printing the nozzle. As 3D printing technology continues to improve, we will likely see more end-use parts made with 3D printing.